Hey everyone, today I want to go over how the splitter works on a 2000 Cobra R Mustang. This is one of the attributes of this car. This is actually a request I got from uh, one viewer. So anybody that makes any request, I'll try to oblige them as much as I can. Most owners don't drive with the splitter on, at least not all the time. I usually don't leave mine on. I would like to, but there are a bunch of reasons and a bunch of problems with the splitter as far as why I don't drive it. The first being... Uh, the height of it, it's about as high as the top of a soda can, so it doesn't sit that high off the ground, and it's fairly far in front of the front axle. This means when you go over speed bumps, even small driveway inclines, it can scrape. Usually if you take it at a pretty substantial angle, you can make it, but it's just plastic on the bottom. You got to be real careful with it, and it's really not worth, in my opinion, damaging these things because you can't get replacements anymore, so they are fairly expensive and valuable. Um, the other reason is that they're relatively weak. They are just one piece of plastic with no metal reinforcing on them at all, so at high speeds, extended high speeds, they will start to come apart over time. I have seen them start to sort of crack in this area, and the plastic will just basically start to fail over time. And the third reason is guys that race these things say it will make the car feel unstable at high speeds. So, I don't, like I said, I don't usually drive with it on, unfortunately. Even though it looks pretty cool, from a functionality standpoint, it really doesn't do what it was designed to do. And uh, there are physical or mechanical problems with it. So, how this works is... There is a bracket underneath. I'll try to show it. The car sits low to the ground. Um, it has these, what they're called, Zeus fasteners on the sides and on the front. It's spelled D-Z-U-S. How they work is you push them in and you turn them a quarter of a turn and they lock in place. There's one here on each side, on the sides, and then they have five on the front. So that is really the main thing that holds them locked in place. And there is a metal bracket with two prongs on it. I'll try to show it under the car with it installed. Then I'll take this off in a minute. You can kind of see the bracket. Under there. So that's the bracket, the metal bracket. You can see it with the forks installed. That's how, that's what actually holds it. On the back side when it's installed on the car. Like I said, I'll take it off, but that's the only actual metal. It doesn't reinforce it. That's just the way the bracket is on the back side to retain it. So I'll go ahead and take it off so you can get a better look at the splitter off of the car. All right, now with the splitter off the front end, you can see it considerably changes the look. It's basically the same front end as a 99 and 01 Cobra. So this is how this works. Like I said, this is all plastic. This bracket is the only piece of metal. It really doesn't reinforce it. It just holds up the back side of it. This has not been repainted as far as I know. This is all original. These Zeus fasteners are basically spring-loaded, and when you push them into place, you turn them a quarter turn, and these lock in place. They all just go a quarter turn. Some of them are a little bit longer than other ones, and there's basically just a little metal wire that's in there that they grab onto. They all have that little tiny metal wire on them. And that's all, and they're just they're riveted in place from the back side. And that's really how these Zeus fasteners work. They use these things, they're basically just sort of like a quick release. Um, just to get the splitter on and off relatively quickly. They're all spring-loaded like this. These are also riveted on, um, as is this bracket that's uh, underneath. And this is it. This is just one big piece of plastic that they put on this car. Uh, there were, I've seen prototype brackets made. I think Roush made like a prototype reinforcement bracket. I've seen them on eBay once in a while. Um, I don't think they ever actually sold them as a production unit. And underneath, these are those uh, metal pieces that were the supports. They were basically just, they were bolted to the underside of the radiator bracket. I actually have heard other owners say that at high speeds for extended periods of time, like in racing, the stress that these receive from the splitter will actually bend the bottom of this 
housing bracket for the uh, the radiator support. So I can't say if it's true or not, but that's what I've been told by other owners. And basically this just has a piece of rubber in here that the fork goes into and it's uh, supported on on both sides. So that's how the uh, the splitter works on a 2000 Cobra R Mustang. So as I stated in my uh, issues and quirks videos, it's just real simple piece of engineering. There's really nothing super unique here. It is a cool looking piece. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of negatives to drive around with it left on the car. So anybody who is a owner or potential future owner, I would just recommend if you want to take it maybe to like car shows, just to kind of show the car. You can get around with it. I've driven around with it a bunch of times. When I first got the car, I left it on a little bit, but just getting in and out of certain places, you got to be super careful. A lot of them have damage on the bottom, but uh, that's basically a relatively uh, detailed overview of this uh, relatively simple piece. So I uh, hope this was informative and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.